Hi and welcome to Priori Digital Studio Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to set up and use your Dead Snowball Calculator spreadsheet in the most efficient way. In this video, I'm using Go Sheets, but the Excel version is exactly the same. First thing, we protect most of the cells where there are formulas to make sure that you don't erase any important formulas that could impact the spreadsheet. So if you see this message, it means you are not supposed to touch it. But don't worry, I will show you step by step how to prepare your spreadsheet. If you do touch a cell and see this message, you can simply click on the X and you will be fine. Moreover, we establish a color code to show you which cells can be edited and which one cannot. So basically, you only can edit the cells where you have a white background. Another small warning, please do not move a cell from one place to another. If you do move a cell, it could generate an issue by messing up the automatization of the spreadsheet. The best way to avoid these errors is to copy and paste your data. Now let's take a look at the debt snowball tab. The snowball method focuses on paying debts with the lowest balance first, then progressing to the larger ones. Once a debt is paid off, the freed up money goes toward paying another debt, hence creating a snowball effect. In this tab, you will be able to see your debts, debts payment, and debt free date. The first thing you want to do is to enter your currency symbol. So simply type it in. Here is a dollar, but you could type in a euro symbol or any other currency symbol. Then you will be able to enter the date you started paying your debts. So as you can see here for the year, you can simply type in the year. So 2023, for example, and then use the drop down menu to select your starting month. Then you can add some extra cash you have freed up that you would like to put toward paying your debts. This is optional, so you don't necessarily need to enter anything. However, for an example, I will enter an amount of $50. So simply type it in. Finally, you need to list all your debts. Since this spreadsheet will apply the snowball method, you do not need to bother with the order in which you write your debts since they will be reorganized based on the initial balance of your debts. So enter the name of your debt, the initial balance, the interest rates, and the minimum payment. If you do not know all these information by heart, don't hesitate to check your bank account or your credit card statement, and you will easily be able to find the interest rate or the minimum payment. So let's write an example together. So let's just say we have a phone debt. So let's simply write phone. The initial balance is $1,500. And then let's say the interest rate is 10%. And then the minimum payment is $75. So once everything is entered, you will be able to visualize in the table below all your debts reorganized according to the debt snowball strategy. So all your debts are sorted based on their initial balance. On another important note, when you write all your debts name, make sure that all of them have a different name. So please do not write credit card, credit card, credit card, like at least name them. If you do not do so, the spreadsheet will have difficulties reorganizing everything. So as you can see, the rest of the spreadsheet will auto populate by itself and you will be able to visualize the details of each debt. Moreover, if you have a spontaneous money that you want to put toward your debt, you can write it in the overview plus or minus column, or you could decrease your monthly payment if needed. So let's say that in April, we have $50 in extra cash and I want to put it toward my debts. I can simply write it there. Then let's say in June, I know that I'm going into a vacation and I will be short on cash. I want to decrease my monthly payment by $150. So I simply write minus $150 and as you can see, it will decrease my monthly payment. Finally, you will see your debt-free date for each debt as well as the payment for each of them over time. You will also have a summary of all your debts as well as your debt-free date. So that's it. I hope this tutorial helps you easily set up your spreadsheet. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any question or concern. Follow Priori Digital Studio on YouTube for sneak peeks on our new templates. 